A decision to make 10 staff in an Auckland Save Mart store redundant has been withdrawn after the workers came to Checkpoint to complain about health and safety. Save Mart sells recycled clothing collected from the Blue Child Cancer clothing bins, but some Newland workers told us people also dump rubbish or clothing, glass, even dead animals in the bins, and they're banned from wearing gloves when sorting through the bales. Since then, Checkpoint has spoken to more than 50 workers from Save Mart stores throughout the country who all describe very similar working conditions, discovery in those bales and no gloves. Save Mart owner Tom Doonan has refused to be interviewed by Checkpoint but has continued to maintain gloves are provided. Graham McKean from First Union is representing the Newland staff. I asked him what has changed since Friday. Late Friday afternoon I had an email come through from the company and they have informed us that they have now uh, stopped the redundancy process and all the union workers are now going to retain their, their full positions. That, that's quite extraordinary. Does that happen very often? I, not to my knowledge. I have never, ever been in a situation where a redundancy has been announced, a whole set of processes put in place, and all of a sudden, after a series of campaigns, that that redundancy has been overturned. Because fundamentally, it's the position that's made redundant, not the person. So either that position was redundant or it wasn't redundant. In this case, it is now not redundant. Now, now we all understand employment law says it's the position, but in this case, what seemed to be happening, and can you explicitly confirm this, is that all the people who were, past tense, being made redundant are union members? That's correct. Right, so this was a very particular kind of redundancy. Would appear to me that there's been a, um, a, an approach to remove a specific group of employees from the workplace, and the commonality in that is that they were union members. So you obviously were taking a case against them, and it would have been your expectation of success with that case? Oh, uh, unquestionably. Not only would it have been successful, it would have set precedent in court as well. So where does it leave your workers at Save Mart New Lynn? And can we just talk about the New Lynn branch? Then I want to widen out. Do they want to stay there? Do they regard this as a victory? OK, so one thing I don't want to do is start waving the flag and say what it is is a victory. What it is has been successful so that the union members retain their employment. Now, it's been a bruising pathway, and both parties to the relationship have been damaged. So my approach now is to try and improve that relationship so that uh, the union members are getting good representation and we have a, a good relationship with the company. Will they get gloves? Let's hope they get gloves. Yeah, the most certainly. That will all be part of the conversation. OK, so not only do they get their jobs back that they were losing, they will also get an improvement, a material improvement in health and safety conditions. It should be right across the board. So health and safety is, is the paramount point in this uh, particular set of circumstances, but it's also the employment relationship. So we need to work collaboratively and constructively together, and that would be uh, my next approach with the company. Obviously, we've talked a lot about gloves on Checkpoint. What else do they want? The next step for me now is to look at their employment conditions. So we've, we've gone and discussed the health and safety side of things. It's now the employment relationship that they have with the company and the terms and conditions within that relationship. So I think it's appropriate now to meet and talk with the company to say you've done incredibly well over the last couple of three decades. There's been a lot of money gone through the company's coffers and it would be more than fair and reasonable for that money to be passed around in a little bit more even-handed manner. OK, you are representing the workers at the New Lynn branch. Obviously, we have heard, since we've started covering this story, from workers throughout New Zealand, are you representing them too, or if they don't belong to the union, they are still on their own? We have a couple of other members outside of the Newland branch. Primarily, it has been the Newland branch. But if there's workers in Save Mart in New Zealand listening to this now and they would like representation and good working conditions, contact First Union and we will be able to organise uh, someone to pop in and visit you and to um, represent on your, your behalf um, terms and conditions that will be more favourable. Graham McKean from First Union just confirming the redundancies that we've been covered, uh, covering at length are off.